Hey guys, I'm Vincent. and today we are going to play Exanima, a game by Bare Metal Entertainment, which is an early access, so beware, it's not a finished game, and it will just improve, it will not stay in the state we are going to, to play it today. So it is a dungeon crawler with roguelike elements, so it means we'll get permadeath and all this stuff, so we'll need to improve over time with each death and try to be better, but it's not going to be easy because this game is pretty hard. And what is making it very hard is that, that the gameplay is just very atypic. So there is a lot of physics and you'll need to... When you are going to fight your opponents, it's going to be a bit more like a dance, like the regular fencing we are used to. So you really need to, to observe your opponent and to try to anticipate his action. And maybe I should just show you that a bit. We've got two mod here, we've got a new game one, one which is going to just throw you in the in the campaign, which is going to be in a dungeon and you'll need to find new weapons, you're going to begin with nothing, and an arena, an arena, ah, come on, an arena mod which is going to allow you to train, and this is going to be I think the mod we are going to go first, because it's going to allow me to explain you a bit how the fight is going to work, so let's just do that. So I've got two levels, I'm going to go with Novice because Expert is not that easy to access. And we've got a character creator, which is, for now it's good enough. I feel like it's just a very good beginning. So you can just change your skin tone, your age, your age, your, your physique, like that. You can go with a very skinny guy, or a guy which, a guy which is a bit fatter, or maybe somebody which is having a lot more muscle and stuff. So let's just find a sweet spot and you've got a few voice if you want to hear these let's go back like you would find in any RPG of the good old time let's go back with I this game is going to remember your character so you don't need to create it each time so as you are going to probably die a lot it's a very good point because you're going to gain your time you've got a few air cuts you can go with and issues that you, you cannot zoom. I did not find how to do it, at least. And it would be cool to be able to zoom on your character to see what kind of air uh, or other things you can just check. I'm going to go with a uh, point like that. And we're going to begin our fight with first a few a few clothes, which are going to be useful. Let's go with uh, all this thing. And we can begin with. We need to choose one weapon. And if you want to. To begin a bit more easily, I would just recommend taking the shield. It's very, very handy, and maybe the sword. The, these are, I think, the, the easiest setup to begin with. And I will use this one, but I'm going to begin with the 200 sword because it's going to allow me to end the first fight very quickly if I manage to, to do so. So I can just show you a bit better how it's going to work just after the first fight, the first fight, in between the two fights, as a matter of fact. So let's. Let's go! Okay, here we are. So, you are not moving... Okay, let's just be careful a bit. Uh, well, uh, maybe I will just explain you a bit after the fight. I'm going to try to kill him first, because it's not that easy. And <laughs> I'm just going to get killed if I just do two, two things at the same time. So I'm just going to try to rush him a bit. It was a bit reckless, I should not have done that. And you can counter. You need to put your sword in the right direction if you want to do so. And there we go, I just hit his knees. He will not be able to go to adventure anymore. And uh, you've got two kind of attack. You've got a slash attack and an attack which is going to come from the the top. So let's just try to go around. I'm just putting my cam behind me because it's, it's a lot easier if you don't want to m get mixed up with uh, the commands. And I think this is my the only bad point I just find about the game is is the cam, which is not. It would be wonderful to have the cam behind you all the time when you are fighting. All right, I think it's almost done. Okay, just a few more hits. It seems a bit strange at the beginning because you are not moving like we are used to, but. I'm just going to show you a few things. 
So when you are in, there is two modes as a matter of fact. When you are in exploration, you are going to go in this mode. You can just walk around. You need to be careful not to be to be walking without paying attention to stuff. Because if you are just running into a a chair and you just bump into it, you are going to fall like a dumbass. And it's pretty much the same in fight. If you are Let's say you are fighting somebody and there is a ladder on the ground and you are just going backward and yeah you are going to fall. You need to be careful because if you fall on the ground you are going to be an easy prey but it's it's pretty much the same for enemies. They are going to be subject to the same issue so we are going to go and I'm going to take the mace and maybe the, the shield and I think I got a few more things here. I've got a little sword which is going to be what I'm going to use for the next fight so I can just show you a bit more and maybe I'm going to take another one which is just there. There is a big axe here. So let's just grab all the weapons which are around and I will just show you a bit more how these things are going to react. I think there is a few more on the ground in this direction here. You won't get as much weapon when you are going to begin the game. You will just get, get what you find. So not so cool. No, I don't need this one. You can pretty much grab everything and put it in your inventory. Or just put it on the ground or move it around. You've got a lot of choice on this one. So let's see. So I'm just <laughs> going to stop working on this guy. We're going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to show you how it's going to work. So let's go into fight mode. Here we go. So we are moving very differently when you are in fight mode. When you are in fight mode, you are going to rotate around the point you are you are aiming. So I'm going to go into the right direction because I don't want to have my commands being reverse. So when you are I mean, you, you've got you can make little step, or you can make big step with a uh, with just holding the button, and it's going to allow you to go away from your enemy because you need to really handle the range. If you are at the good range, they will not be able to attack you. But maybe if you got a weapon which is long enough, you will be able to attack them. So it's just very very handy. And what you need to know is that there is two kind of attacks. There is a the slash attack which is going to be from two attack like that and you can just stop it at any point if you, if you need to counter you just you just release the button and it's going to you know just stopping like that so you don't need to make it all the way and you can go with a, another attack which is just I think maybe a bit more powerful because you are going to aim for the head so you can just click twice and you go for an attack which is going to go top down and you can just interrupt it as you would for this one. You should just... Oh, here we go. So, when you're in fight, you can use your shield as well. You just need to use your your cursor to be in the right direction when you are going to get it. And the shield is going to defend you a lot. This is pretty amazing. When you are using for the first time a shield, you just feel like you are not going to die. And this is something which is just not very usual in this game. So, because you need to to fight for your life on each fight. And it's, it's a bit more like a brawl than a fight, <laughs> as a matter of fact. So let's just go for the next fight. I think this is a guy with a long range weapon, but not a bow. There is no ranged weapon for now. Maybe I would have been better with, um, with a long sword, but... And when you are getting attacked by somebody, if you feel like you are too close and you cannot and you cannot avoid his hit. You are probably better by just going toward him to go in a range which is not good for his weapon. Alright, is he like... Okay, I just need to... I don't want to be kept in a corner because if I'm in a corner I'm pretty much dead. Maybe I could just go close to the, to the wall to make it an issue for him. Okay, I will need to attack it, uh, attack him at some point, if I want to win this fight at, at least. There we go. Just a little hit. Not so much danger. I just want to be cautious here. This would be just amazing if I was able to finish this little arena mod. Okay. So let's see. Ouch! got me on this one. It was a little it. I, I was not so much in danger. Cutting weapon are very, very good. Okay, be careful. Need to move around. I don't want to stay here. I could have a 
attacked him. Okay. The fighting seems really slow at the beginning, but it's very tactical. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to improve a lot. Just with this little thing with the cam, it would be just wonderful to be able to be followed. Ouch! It was such a blow, I just... Oh, come on. Ouch, 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 ouch. Take a bit of distance, you can stay there. It is going to kill us. And I just forgot to say that you can crouch to avoid enemy as the attack, but it's for me it's just still a bit too far for me to be able to use the crouch button at the right time. Okay, I think I bleed him. I would be just so much better with the long sword here. As a matter of fact, more range is just so handy. But the shell is very handy to stay alive. That's true. Oh, come on, I think. I've been taking a little bit of a... of a risk here. And there is another thing you need to know. If you move in the same direction as your blow, you are going to make much more damage. Okay. Let's not let him finish me. All the fights are very intense. Okay, let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not dead. I said for a sec I thought I was dead. Oh, it was something. Um, I think my next opponent is going to have a shield. So maybe what I would like to do is maybe use... I could use the axe like that. Maybe I'm going to die, but with the axe I should be better. Let's see. Let's try to make it work. At least I will have a, enough range to maybe take him away from me. Oh, come on. He's going to use his... Let's see. You see, with the if you're going to the right direction, you're going to be able to counter his, his hits. Ouch, I think he touched me more than I touched him. Okay, I almost got dead. But I'm almost dead. Oh, he's got his hand blocked. I don't know what happened here. Alright. Oh, lucky me. Not intend to block this one. I almost got killed by my momentum here. And sometimes you can just use your your attack to to make your opponent flee. Oh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> yes, I'm dead. Okay, so this was arena mod. I'm going to go a bit into the regular mod, the dungeon crawler mod. So you can just see a bit more how the game begin. This game is, is a prologue to Sui Generis, but it's intended to be a full game, so it's not only a dem uh, technical demo, it's going to be much more than that. Let's go with a bit of clothes here, maybe I could just go with this one, yeah. And we are going to awake in a dungeon here. Here we go. And what I would recommend here is you've got torch, of course, but you'll need to keep it for a bit because it's so dark in there. So you can use your your right click to advance if you want. It's going to be allowing you to maybe rest these fingers from the fight. So we've got torch here, and we'll need to go some of the place in the room just to grab. 
what is going to be our best friend here? A shield. There is. It's not exactly a shield, it's just the top of a barrel, but look at that. It's just probably going to be what we need here. And there is also a weapon which is, I think, on the ground, and it's probably. Uh, just here, there is a weapon here. This is just a plank with a few nails. But it could be useful. And I'm going to just go and I'm, I will attack with my torch because I need to have a bit of light here. And it's a bit strange because this game, everything is just handled by physics. So if you want, you can, you can just grab everything. You can just grab the crate here and put it somewhere else. You can just grab the planks. I think there's a few planks, so it just needs to be close enough. So you can just grab these and move them around. You can make obstacle to prevent enemies to to kill you. You can just use everything you see around, and you can make stuff with it. So this is just pretty cool. I can I think I can even take these stones like that and put them wh whenever I wa wherever I want. So very handy, very, very handy. And you need to do the same pretty much for the door. You can uh, you can push the door with your body, but if you need to open the door this way, you'll need to to grab it and to do so. So very similar to what you would do in, in reality. And oh well no it's not an axe, it's just a piece of wood. So I'm going to advance, I'm going to go towards this little corridor because I know there is a door and which I can open and on the other side I don't think so. So I'm very fond of the light effects. These are very very pretty and a bit worrying sometimes because you don't know what you're going to find. And we are going to enter this room here, because I know there is something here. And I'm just going to run for it, push him a bit, go into fighting mode, and... Here we go, come for me, please. The shield is very, very wide, so uh, I will be able to handle a lot of the, a lot of hits. He's just wondering what he's going to do. But uh, maybe I will help him to... Decide. Here we go, he's got an axe, so I need to be careful. But I will try to keep him away. Okay, let's see. It's not easy because with the cannon's little area, it's going to be just a fight which is going to be a bit dangerous. You are better in bigger rooms to fight. But there is a lot smaller room to be caught in. Don't worry. Oh, I think I've seen something. I hope it's no, not. I think nobody is coming that way. It's going to be trouble if there is somebody coming here. You cannot fight with more enemies than just one here. And hopefully the, the torch do not uh, unlit. I would be just in the dark with him. It would be just very, very frightening. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, he's not dead yet, but... I intend to do it so very soon. Just need to be careful not to be attacked by. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, he's, he's dead. Yes, awesome. So let's just see what can, can we get on this guy. He's got a pant, but it's, it's, it does not seem to be better than mine. Coverage and slash. And mine is okay. Mine is better. So let's just leave this one on the ground. And there is an axe somewhere in this room which I could grab. Oh, here it is. Just there, I think. Yes. I'm going to just throw this thing away. It's not going to be useful. And I will not use the axe right now because you know I don't want to stay in the dark. <laughs> mm. But there is a chest here, and I'm going to check if I can find something of interest. Yes, boots. So these boots are going to be much better. And these have a lot better coverage impact. And yes, much better. And we're going to get equipment. But for now, I really need to find another place where I can just fight somebody else which is not that strong. Because you can really find people which are going to be very, very dangerous here. There's another room. I'm going to just show you this one. There is no danger here. I did not explore so much. 
I spent a bit of time fighting in the arena, but the dungeon, I've been trying the dungeon first and I, I've been killed so easily, I, I just try to train a bit to be able to handle a few fights before I die, so I can just show you a bit more of the game. And we are going to advance a bit. All the stages, tranquil and all. And I'm going to go maybe left, because I think I died from the right. Uh, let's see. So what do we have here? I think maybe it's empty. Is it? Yes, it is. And is there a... Maybe it's not. <laughs> it's bigger than I expected. And there is probably enemies here. Yes, here we go. Let's see if we can survive this one as well. I don't think so, but... She's going to attack me right now, is she? No, she is not. I'm going to go with my axe. There's enough light here. So we should be able to... Oh, two of these guys. I need to be very, very careful. Oh, three, come on. Let's try to hide. And maybe I will attack them when there is only one. Oh, come on. I'm in trouble here. I missed him. It was very, very damp. <laughs> did the same. Okay, got your leg. Ouch! And got your got my back. Oh, I'm going to fall. I'm so going to fall. Oh, I think I got yes, I got him mostly. I don't think we can fight with all these guys around. Okay, he's down. There is one more which is coming to me. I killed your friend. Are you going to attack me? I believe you will, eventually. But my life is just regenerating. I'm going to wait a bit. So maybe... Oh, she's coming. Or oh, he is coming, I don't know. Okay. It's much more a uh, uh, place to fight with, an ax uh, with a, a dagger than an axe. I should just go and fight in the in the corridor here. No, it's too dark. I will not see uh, fighting. Okay, I'm so going to die. <laughs> yes, I'm dead. There we go. So this is how we end up most of the time. And when you just when you just go into a new game, you are going to make another game like that. So I'm just going to try to make another um, another arena. So we'll be seeing a bit more fighting and I think we'll just call it the end so let's see I'm going to oh I did not so we can just make two kind of character we can make male and female I don't think there is any other race and I'm going to begin with my 200 sword and we'll see if we survive long enough so let's see Let's try to make a bit better. I think maybe I need to aim a bit when I'm attacking these guys. Because most of the time I just attack for the for the legs. But it's probably because I'm just aiming with my mouse at the legs. Alright, let's see. Uh, did I touch him? I'm not sure. Need to be careful. We've got only a little maze like that, but it could be deadly. Oh, good one. I just shave, shave his back. Okay, good one as well. But I've almost been eaten on the head. Okay, let's. Are you ready for the what's next? Because I'm coming with a second attack, and I'm going to get you when I can. All right. 
I really need to defend myself a bit more. Okay, nice one. I'm going to keep the 200 sword, it's just very efficient. So let's go for it. I did not get too many hits, but I still need to be careful. Oh, come on. I missed him so much. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going to get, get killed. I need to be more careful. I don't want to go too close. Or it's going to get a bit of my skin. There we go. I've got his leg. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm so much in trouble. Uh, okay, let's see. I should not. Maybe I should not have advanced. Oh, come on, I'm dead. I'm going to make one more. So I would really like to show you the the, the more advanced fight of the novice level. Because there is a few which are very interesting. Especially one with an Amazon which has a very amazing shield and... Oh, what, what happened here? It was just very, very strange. Ouch. Okay, it's a bad beginning. Let's see. Okay, it was a pretty good attack. I've been lucky on this one. I got his ears. I need to synchronize my movement with my attacks so I can just make better hits. Ouch. But I, maybe I don't want to try too much things here. Uh, maybe I want to remain cautious. Because he's not testing stuff. You know what he's doing. I'm not. <laughs> uh, let's see next fight. No, nope, you're not. I think maybe it was a bit dangerous. All right, I just keep it, keep him close. He's not going to be able to attack me much if I just. time. Ouch! It was very, very painful. Don't do that again, please. Come on, I need a dagger to get his flanks when I'm too <laughs> close like that. Oh no, I'm going, I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed. Again. time when I'm taking the, the more risk is when I'm going to attack. And it's probably the same for him, so I need to be careful and try to take advantage of these. Oh! Be careful! Alright. Nope. Not today. Where's my mouse? <laughs> I just lost my, my cursor here. Yeah. So let's be careful. Oh, got his knees. Nice. Okay, so let's try the next fight. With the shield and, and mace. Okay. Good beginning. I just need to be more careful because he's a little bit faster than me, I think. 
Ouch. But my weapon is going to make much more damage if I touch him. If I touch him. And I maybe don't want to be too close because he's going to be at advantage. And I'm not. Maybe I should have just taken the sword and shield. It would have been much more helpful on this fight. I would love a spear here. Oh, nice. Okay, let's be careful. Okay, I've got his knees. Oh no! No! Come on! Game! <laughs> anyway, it was very fun. I, I really like Xanima, it's just a pretty cool game, but when you are... If, if you try the game, you really don't want to give up at the first minutes. You need to, to, to try harder, because it's definitely worth it. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe, and until next time guys, have fun!